Spoiler alert, your launch has absolutely nothing to do with you. One of the biggest mistakes that I see CEOs make is choosing a launch plan that feels good and comfortable to them without first thinking about what it is their ideal clients actually need and want. In this video, I'm going to break down how to actually plan your launch while keeping your ideal client in the forefront of your brain using data. <music> Welcome to my village. I am Brianka Johnson, a launch and marketing strategist, and I help my clients develop custom launch and marketing plans. Subscribe to my channel for weekly videos on all things launching, marketing, and entrepreneurship. Today's launch look is brought to you by Shein. It is a nice little halter top and bolero combination. It is so very cute and comfortable. So check it out. This will be linked in the comments below. All right, now let's get into it. As a CEO, it is imperative that you learn to use the data that you have on hand and at your disposal to make informed and profitable decisions. That includes your launch. And so in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about how exactly to do that. The very first thing that you want to know is where to actually pull the data from. So you may be thinking that you need to be looking at consumer marketing websites or that you need to be looking at like Google Analytics and things like that. And while that is true, there's also some quantitative and qualitative data that you already have on hand if you are already in the process of speaking to and talking to your ideal clients. So one of the very first places that I want you to look is your application or your discovery call form. These forms are normally inundated with so much information about your ideal client, what they're struggling with, how they found you, what they want to see change in their life or in their business in the next 90 days. Like all of these questions, where they're located, all of these questions help you make informed decisions with your marketing because you're able to compile all of that information into one central location that you can use to make informed decisions. Another place that you want to look is social media. So what are you seeing in your comments? What are you seeing in your DMs when you're hosting polls, when you're doing lives? Is there any trend that you're seeing between your audience and between the people who follow you that you can use to make informed decisions about your launch. And lastly, a really good place to look is going to be your transcript. So a lot of us are recording our calls, we're sharing them with our clients, and then these recordings are just sitting in the back end of our Loom folders or our Zoom accounts, and we're not using the transcripts to their absolute best capacity. So what instead I want you to do is take those videos and give them to a platform like Rev or like Otter and pull the transcripts and use those transcripts to continuously market your business, to gather data about what it is your clients want or what they need, and use this information to center your launch. If you are struggling with where to get this information from or you feel like you just need a little more guidance, check out the Profitable People program here. You can snag it in the shop and you get 15% off your first order. Now, now that you know where to get the data from, the very first thing that you want to consider is where are you getting the most engagement? And the reason that this is so important when it comes time to plan your launch is because what it does is it helps you identify where you should be promoting your launch at. So if you have art, if you have profiles on multiple platforms like Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, and you want to get as large of a turnout as possible for your launch, you want to start with where are your ideal clients actually engaging with you? And another reason that this is kind of important is because each of the different platforms have a specific use. When you think about the use of the platform, it also is indicative of why you're audience is larger in this space than maybe another space. So a good thing to think about is like Instagram is really good for storytelling. LinkedIn is really good for building connection and making um, career decisions and things like that. Twitter is an echo chamber. So when you're able to identify the use of the platform and where you're seeing the most engagement, you're able to say, okay, what is it that my ideal client is really looking for from me? So you also want to think about how you are using your social media platforms. So if you are using your Instagram to share tips and strategies, you may look at that data and say, okay, so my audience is growing whenever I'm sharing a tip or a strategy. So it looks like that is something that they want from me. How can I create a launch event that centers a tip and a strategy um, to get a higher conversion from my ideal clients? 
So asking yourself thoughtful questions about the actions that your ideal clients are taking will help you create a launch event that centers them and their needs and their pain points and what it is that they're really looking for from you. Now, I want you to think about what is one data location that you have been failing to audit? whether it's social media or your recordings or your intake forms, you know, let me know what that data location is and share it with me in the comments. Next, you want to think about what is it that your ideal clients are actually saying that they want or that they need? What are they saying their pain point is and how can you solve that pain point at the beginning that will lead them into your signature offer? So as an example, let's say you're a graphic designer and you're seeing that your ideal clients are like, I don't know how to pick a brand color. Maybe you host or you train or you teach or you whatever on color theory and the meaning behind different colors and how they can um, create color palettes using um, color palette generators, whatever that looks like for you, but taking their, their pain point and creating the first step. And you'll know that it's the first step because not only do they need a color palette, they need a full brand identity and maybe that's something that you offer. But if you can help them get the first step, then you know that the, the chances of them converting into your larger package of the brand identity is greater. So really being thoughtful and intentional about what is it that they are saying that they want? What is it that they're saying that they need? What are they really struggling with? And how can I help them get a quick win in this area? And then lastly, you want to consider how do your clients best make decisions, right? So you want to know, like, do they make decisions right there in the moment? Do they need a little bit more nurturing? Do they need like an email sequence? Do they need a discovery call? Do they need an application? Do they need for you to connect with them in the DMs? Do they need a chat box? You know, do they do they like to make decisions out in the public or do they like to make decisions privately? Do they need to consult anyone like their CFO or their spouse or whoever? What is it that they need to make the best and the most informed decision? And how do you create that environment or that space during your launch event, during your launch that allows them to get all of their questions answered and allows them to make the best, most informed decision with ease, right? So when you're able, when you're thinking about this, you can think about like, all right, do I see a higher conversion on discovery calls or are my clients just completing the application and then moving on through the process? Am I seeing that when clients complete application and I send them a DM or a voice note that there is a higher conversion? Am I seeing that my students really convert well when I teach or did they really convert well when I connect a story to, to my messaging? You know, what is it that is really getting them to say, okay, this is the person for me? And then how do you leverage that information and that data into planning your launch, right? Like you want to make sure that every decision that you're making about your launch from the number of emails and what time you send the emails, you know, when you're looking at your open rates and your click-through rates, do your ideal clients like subject lines that are more based in a question? Or do they like subject lines that leave them wondering and leave them, you know, questioning? What is it that gives your ideal clients the mm, to go ahead and make a decision? So I want you to be thinking about that. Like as you are doing things in your business, as you're making, creating strategies and you're implementing them, what is working and what is not working? And once you identify that, then you can sit back and you can ask yourself, well, why is this working? Is this where I best show up? As an example, I know that for me, I don't like webinars because I don't like one-way communication. I really, really thrive when people are talking back to me they're asking questions, I'm answering questions, and it's more free flowy. They can have their computers on, they can unmute themselves. Like that really thrive, like gives me energy. And I know that when I'm in that type of environment, my conversion rate will always be higher. And so I don't host webinars. I may host a workshop or I may host um, a training or a live event because there people can interact and they can engage with me. And I was only able to come to that decision because I have spent so much time asking myself, why? Where is my ideal client making the best decision? Where are they converting the fastest? How am I shortening my buyer's life cycle? So you want to make sure that you are asking yourself these exact same questions as well. So that way you can be auditing your processes and auditing your launch plans and making them increasingly more effective as you go along. So if you need a little help, planning your next launch, apply to work with me using the link below, or you can snag the Profitable People program in my shop.
you can get 15% off your first order. Like this content, show your love by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. I love to connect with you on Instagram. All you have to do is screenshot this video to let me know where you came. But before you go, don't forget to pop on over into the comments and let me know what is one data location that you have been failing to audit. See you next time, friend. Bye.